Good morning boys and girls, it's Miss Cumming here. We've been looking at the tiger who came to tea this week and all of that talk of food has made me a little bit hungry. Now we've got two books here that I've been looking at this week. This one is all about plants growing in an allotment and this one is all about the vegetables we eat and we're going to read this story today and hopefully we'll learn something new. Okay, I wonder which of these uh, vegetables you like to eat at home. Let's take a look. The vegetables we eat. Whoa, what vegetables can you see? Mmm, yummy. I love vegetables. Look at all the vegetables. Vegetables are the part of the plant that are grown to be eaten. Most are annuals, that means they grow once a year, and some are perennials, and that means they grow um, without having to be replanted. What's this lady holding here? It is good for us to eat vegetables. They are nutritious and help to keep our bodies strong and healthy. They are also really tasty too. <gasps> we eat vegetables in different ways. How are the people eating their vegetables in these pictures? How are they eating them here? What have they got for their dinner? What's this girl eating? Mmm, yummy, that looks interesting. Vegetables grow to be different shapes, sizes and colours. Can you name any of these vegetables? I wonder if you tried them before. Yummy, I think my favourite is the tomatoes. I really like tomatoes, they're so tasty and sweet. And here are more vegetables here. Now, botanists group the different kinds of vegetables according to the part of the vegetable that we eat. So we eat lots of different parts of plants. And I imagine you can name some of these vegetables. How to grow your own vegetable garden. Wow! These people are growing the vegetables. I think they might be called farmers. When it gets warm enough, many people enjoy planting, growing and later harvesting their own vegetables. Most often we will buy seeds and then we have to follow the directions or the instructions to plant them. Can you see this lady here has got a packet of seeds in her hand? and they're digging a hole to plant the seeds. Some people start um, plant starter plants, which are also called seedlings. Can you see the little seedlings here? They're tiny little plants. And this lady's putting the seeds in the ground here. I can see the little seeds going in. And over here, this lady is planting. What does that look like she's planting? Perhaps it's some seeds to grow some beans. Over here, what's this boy doing? We could make one of these in our nursery, couldn't we? We've got some sticks and string. I think this will help the plants grow up. The garden must be weeded and watered regularly. This lady is doing the watering here. The plants begin to grow. What can you see here? It's a scarecrow and he will scare all the birds away so they don't eat the seeds. I can see some yummy radish growing down here. What else can you see? Oh look, 
over here, I can see a long hose, just like we have in nursery, and it's shooting out some water. This will be really nice for the plants to drink. In cities, people may grow vegetables in containers. I've got some containers on my balcony and I like to grow tomatoes on it. Have you got any plants growing at your home? The vegetable plants will become bigger until they are ready for harvesting. And harvesting is when all the plants are picked so that people can buy them to eat them. <gasps> There's a dog! I hope he doesn't get all the plants! Woof, woof. Here's pictures of the plants getting bigger and bigger and bigger! Wow, that looks like a butternut squash. Yummy! Sometimes farms are so big that they need tractors to help them with all the harvesting. We can see this tractor is working really hard and this plough turns the soil over. And then here, this smooths the soil to help with the planting. And this one is putting the seeds into straight lines. These people were working really hard. <gasps> What's this sprinkler system? Big sprinkle systems are used to water the vegetable plants at the end of the growing season. The vegetables are harvested. Wow, look at that. Lots of water is coming out here. Some vegetables are picked by hand. These people are working really hard. And on other farms, They'll have machines to do it. Wow. Then refrigerator trucks will haul the vegetables to processing plants and they're washed and sorted and some are frozen. Some are canned and the rest will be sold. Burp, burp. He's taking all of the vegetables to be sorted. Have you got any vegetables in your fridge at home or in your cupboards? The vegetables are shipped to the stores near and far away for people to buy. They're going to the shops. <gasps> all the vegetables are packed away. Have you been to the shops lately to get vegetables? Oh, look. Here's a mummy and her children picking the vegetables out in the shop. What's this girl choosing? At grocery stores, fresh vegetables are on display. Canned vegetable lines shelved and frozen vegetables are in the freezers. Some people even go to the farms to buy their vegetables. I've done that before, it was really fun. <gasps> What's this vegetable here? And who's that sniffing the vegetables? Is it that dog again? <laughs> and here's some interesting pictures about the vegetables. The end. I hope you liked that story, boys and girls. It's a non-fiction story, so that means that everything is true in there. It's all real. And that's what happens to the vegetables that we eat. I hope you enjoyed the story and we look forward to you um, letting us know your thoughts on the story. Okay, goodbye.